Russo. Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Mario. I'm your host, Gosha Bizzo. Oh, God. I did a horrible impression of Koshimar right there. I'm sorry, Koshimar, if you're listening to this. Okay, anyway. Back to Paper Mario. Okay. In the last part, we got to this new... We get to this mini boss. God, I can't talk. Okay. We got to a mini boss right here, and in this part, we're just going to go ahead and take him down. All right. Now, this is Buzzar. Anyway, I'm just going to open up with a power balance on him. This is pretty effective. Call me sheep, but I don't care. Okay. Now, I'm going to shoot Parker's extra command, his skydive, press A right before landing. Very simple. Alright, now watch this. Press A repeatedly to reduce the damage. Let's see if I can fill it up. I filled it up. <laughs> well, almost. And of course, it injures your party member because it hits both of you, which gets really cheap. God, I can't stand that. Anyway, power bounce again. Let's see if we can do better. I need five. Yeah, I usually do more than that. Alright, now watch this. Press A repeatedly to get away. And I did. When he does that, you just have to press A repeatedly. Just press A like hell. Actually, I think I might be able to fill it up if I really, really tried. But anyway, let's go back to fighting. This guy has a few different attacks. He also has a kind of a ninja star attack like where he throws his feathers like ninja stars, which is kind of cool looking. Um, other than that, he's not really that hard of a boss. I believe he has 30 HP. He's not hard. Oh, he has this attack too, where he scratches you with his talons. Anyway, we're all out of FP, unfortunately. Um, I might have to use an FP restoring item in the next turn, because I want to show Park Harry shell shots to just to show you what it does and to show you the action command of it. Because I like to show those off before it's an important time. Okay, I guess I can't fill it up, though, but I can come up to about three quarters, which is better than anyone I've ever seen. Alright! Come on! Ah, I forgot to use the FP item. <laughs> Got short term memory. Eh, what are the odds? There's this ninja star thing. It's not really a ninja star, so it's still. Alright, honey syrup. Refund. God, I love that badge. I might trade it in for damage dodge, though, like in this next chapter, though, maybe. Anyway, shell shot. Okay, you have to hold the control stick to the left and release it with good timing when aiming at the target. It's kind of like a Yoshi's Island attack. Does five damage, very nice attack. Press the button pretty damn hard, I bet you could have heard that. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I can finish him off. That was great, wasn't it? Good. I, I really wasn't doing too well with the power bounces right there. <laughs> I gotta say that much. Usually I'm a lot better, as you guys saw in the other videos. Yo! I got whooped! And he's done for. Alright. Finished off that mini boss. Now let's take off. We are done here at Mount Rugged, or Mr. Rugged, or whatever the hell it's called. Can I kill my Koshimar in person? I'm sorry, man. I think you're awesome and everything, and I, I wish I had a cool accent like yours, actually. If you're listening to this, I actually do wish I had a cool accent like yours, because your voice is just awesome. Anyway, let's keep going. And now we are in Zidrai Dry Desert. I get the feeling we're going to want to switch to Cooper for this part. Hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I am known as Colorado. I'm an archaeologist. You know, I travel the world. At the moment, I'm turning Dry Dry Desert upside down to find the Dry Dry Ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information from Dry Dry Outpost, which is near here. Sadly, as of yet, we're having little success. All I need is a clue, and we're golden. What? Whoa, you're Professor Colorado! Oh, it's Gilbert! I'm next door to you! It's so good to see you! I never would have expected to meet up with you here! God, look at his little arms and his leg, like, talks. <laughs> Middle of an expedition with Mario. I want to be an archaeologist like you. Hello there, Koopa. It's been ages. That's the worst English voice ever. So, if you're serious about taking up archaeology, you and I should go exploring someday. Anytime, really. For now, you should concentrate on your adventure with Mario. Never attain such fame in archaeology as I have if you don't finish one task before starting the next. Whoa, okay! So it's really exciting, friends, it's the mushroom king of everything, and I'll go explore it. God, one of the worst voices ever, <laughs> these guys. Anyway, though, I'm going to go ahead and show you something really cool that a lot of people seem to not know about. Okay, go up out here. Ignore these annoying enemies. They're bandits, they steal your coins. Now, you see this block right here? Hit it with your hammer. A block that has a mushroom in it. 
Let's hit it ten times! Another block! This one has a super sure minute! And we're all out of items. Anyway, we're gonna hit this hundred times! I'm probably gonna speed this up! Uh, I bet that sounded really funny hearing me sing like the SpongeBob theme going that fast. Anyway, for hitting that a hundred times, we got an Ultra Shroom. Very nice. I'm getting rid of the sleepy sheep. Ultra Shroom heals 50 HP. Best HP recovery in the game. Period. You want to get that. It is very useful for later on. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom past these guys. Actually, I'm gonna fight one of them uh, just to show you what the uh, action commands are like and that kind of stuff. Oh. Alright, bandits. Basically, these guys will steal your coins if you don't action command right. They can be really, really annoying. However, hopefully I'll be able to show you the timing on them without screwing it up so I don't lose coins. I mean, Cooper sweeping them can be a good idea, I guess. That's what I like to say. I wanted to do that. Alright. Shut up. By the way, a little tip. If they steal your coins, you have one turn to attack them to get your coins back, as you can see right there. They will run away the next turn after stealing your coins, so you want to attack them the next turn to get your coins back. They steal ten coins a pop, so this fight's gonna get costly if you're not defending and well against them. Anyway. On. We have, you guessed it, Pokey! Alright, now, Pokies, they have spikes on a diagonal part, like, on the diagonal part of their head, though, so, they have, like, diagonal spikes on their heads, though, so, uh, god, Power Carry's not gonna be able to attack them with his sky dive. Anyway, using Cooper like that can knock out part of their body off from underneath them, so that's kinda helpful. Mario cannot jump on them, of course, so just go ahead and hammer them. They can do that, which can be really annoying. There's the timing on it. When they run out of, like, uh, parts, segments of their body from underneath them, basically they're going to, uh, just use their heads to attack you and just jump on you with just their heads, which looks kind of weird, actually, but whatever. All I have to say about these guys is one thing that one of my idols used to say. Move faster, Pokey! Faster! Faster! For the love of God, faster! If you guys haven't guessed who that was, that was Proton John. Oh, by the way, Stone Cactus. This is a landmark for something, but I don't remember what it is. So. Oh! If you see these guys, they are not enemies. Don't go near them. They will warp you to a random segment of the desert, and you can get lost. So don't take any chances. Alright, what do you got to say to us? Hello, fellow travelers. I'm in the middle of a journey, just as you appear to be. All the travelers I meet are like brothers and sisters to me. Tell us what you see, follow the path to the east. A desert town called Dry Dry Outpost waits at the path's end. Those creatures are called Nomadi Mice, by the way, if you didn't know. It's one of the few new species in this game that doesn't... It's one of the few species in this game that doesn't have a party member of it, but it does in Paper Mario too. Maybe we'll get into that another time, who knows. Anyway, though, this is the entrance to Dry Dry Outpost right here. But before we go there, there's a few things that I'd like to get. Go down here. Let's block the coin. Simple. Now it's starting to turn green. You're getting to some grass in here, and look what we got. A desert oasis with cool music. But we have a heart block here to heal us up, which is nice. But we also have something else. If I can find it, here we go. This is a special like a super block. With this you can upgrade one of your party members. With the with an upgrade you gain attack power. The party member will also be able to master a new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? Now, I'm probably going to use it on a power carry because I'm going to be using him the most in this next part, though, but I do intend to get all the party members fully upgraded before the end. Yes, I would like to upgrade this member. Now, these special blocks, or super blocks, rather, as they're called, really helpful stuff. While you're here, I also recommend you hit these trees. One will drop out a lemon. You're going to want to hang on to this for reasons you will see later. 
I need to get rid of a honey syrup. God, they really don't give you enough inventory space in this game. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get to Dry Dry Outpost. Eep. Okay. There's the entrance to Dry Dry Outpost where that sign is. We've gotten to the next town. Hooray! Pretty cool looking town, too. Full of uh, toads wearing turbans. But anyway. If you like this part, or these melons that Mario was trying to grab, <laughs> subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Big yellow button. Give me good 5-star reviews down below this video. Be sure to check out my parts if you like this one. Okay, I will see you guys later. Mario loves the melons.